Hello and welcome everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today in painting our super cool Dia de los Muertos themed cat and dog. For our supplies, we'll need a cup of water, a paper towel to dry off brushes, and some brushes. I have a large, a medium, and a small brush. And for my colors on this one, I have black and white. I have a dark green, dark blue, purple, yellow, pink, and red. So to start, I'm going to find my big brush. I'm going to give it a little dip in the water, get those brushes nice and soft. I'm going to tap on the little paper there, or cloth, um, dry it off. And we're actually going to fill in um, the white part on the faces first. Um, so, big brush into just a little bit of white paint. And we are going to fill in all of the face over here. You can go right over the nose, right over the eyes. But okay. Just smooth it out so you can still see. All those little details. Don't worry if you get outside the lines or cover lines. We're gonna do that for the little doggy also. Smooth it out. And we're gonna fill in that little muggy part. And here. After that part, um, we're going to let that dry for a while, we'll come back, add lots more details. We're going to go to our background. Um, so these are very similar, um, both are blue, dark blue at the bottom. Um, the dog one has green at the top, so green and blue, the cat one has purple and blue. Um, but you can switch them out too if you want the teal blue on the cat or the purple and the blue on the dog. Either way is good. Um, but we're going to start with the blue. So I'm going to take my big brush, I washed it off, I dried it off. I'm going to go into a good amount of blue. So I have a lot on my brush. Um, the longer that paint stays kind of wet paint on your canvas, the easier it's going to be to blend those colors. Um, I'm going to paint maybe about a little more than halfway up and I'm going to do brush strokes that are nice and long kind of up and down brush strokes. So do them both. Take your time around those edges. If you need to use a smaller brush to kind of fit around those little flower shapes, go for it. I'm gonna make these little ends kind of wispy and that's just gonna make blending a little easier and that'll make sure you don't get any like harsh lines that'll dry in that spot. So a good amount of paint. The wispies on the top. I'm gonna do the same thing this one. Lots of paint. I'm gonna do both.
that color on my brush, I'm also going to wrap it around and paint the little side edges to match. Um, do this on both sides, and then we can get the bottom edge too. So whenever you're ready for it, we are going to bring that top color in. Um, so on the dog, I'm going to do green. Um, it's that dark green over here. And then on the cat, I'm going to do purple. But again, you can switch them out if you like. Um, let's start with this one. I'm going to go in with some dark green through the mouth. And I'm painting right up to the edge of the blue. I'm going to do a few little scratches into the blue. We'll do a little bit more blending. Again, the best blend is going to happen when both paint colors are still a little wet paint. A couple little tricks coming up if you're getting some scratchiness in there. So um, I'm going to grab a little bit of this green and I'm going to scratch it down into the blue. I'm going to drag my brush kind of back and forth between the colors. I'm encouraging a little bit of blue to kind of go up into the green and some of that green to go down into the blue. Just look at what you have so far. Nice long brush strokes. If you're getting little nicks and cuts in there, you just need to smooth it out, kind of lift, lift, build up on the pressure as you drag it down. Because sometimes when you press hard and just lift, it'll give you those little, little marks. If your second color is kind of taken over, you can always add a little blue back in. I'm just kind of blending these back and forth until I get a color I like. And then don't forget those little edges. We can wrap that around with the green or the blue and get that top edge. Just a little top edge. I'm going to do the same thing with the purple. So starting at the top, bringing it down into, into the blue. Now this purple does have kind of a little bit more of a blue tone to it. If you want it a little pinkier, you can mix it with pink. But it blends really nicely to the blue. Dragging over the blue, kind of scratching back and forth. Then I'm going to go back into a little bit of blue. Don't have to wash off your brush, grab a little bit more blue. Just kind of blend a little blue into purple. Put a little purple down into the blue. Come back and forth, have you like. So you get a nice blend that you like on there. Okay, 
Okay, we're gonna let our background dry. Um, I'm going to switch brushes, I'm gonna go down to the medium brush, and let's fill in the heart next. Um, so for the heart, I'm just gonna do red. If you want a pink heart, definitely could, or a different color, whichever you like. And um, I'm gonna do this on both. I'm just gonna fill in the heart. Just solid. And Okay, if it gets a little outside the line too, that part's gonna be black. Gonna cover a little bit that you might need. I'm just gonna move it aside. Okay, we're gonna let that dry now, um, and let's fill in our next biggest spaces, that center of the, um, the forehead flower, and then we'll do the centers of our flower flowers. Um, so it's gonna be a light yellow. I'm gonna switch brushes again, I'm gonna go to the smallest brush I have. I'm gonna grab a little yellow, and I'm gonna add a little white to it. But if you like that yellow just by itself, definitely welcome to use it. Um, I'm going to fill in these little centers of the forehead on the thumb, and then the centers of all my flowers. So I'm just going to go through, fill in all the centers of all the flowers. Okay, so we have some centers. Now we need some petals. Um, so I'm gonna keep using my small brush. I'm gonna wash it off, dry it off. Um, they have similar colors. Um, this one is gonna be a light pink, and this one's gonna be a light teal. Both have the same ones. Um, so whichever colors you like, you can have them alternating like these, like pink teal, pink teal. You can have them all the same color. You can play with other colors on your palette there. However you like, um, you're welcome to customize. Um, I'm going to mix up a light teal. Um, so on my plate here, I'm still using my small brush. I'm gonna get a lot of white and then just a little bit of that dark green. And that's gonna give me a really pretty kind of light tealy color. If you want it a little bit more turquoise than uh, teal, you can add a little bit of that blue. And I'm gonna fill in a big round of uh, these colored flowers.
Okay, we got one round of flowers. Um, we're gonna do the other flowers next. Um, little brush. I'm gonna do a light pink on both. I'm um, gonna you can you can change the colors if you want. Um, but I'm gonna mix up white and pink together. And I'm gonna fill in all the rest of those little flowers there. Awesome, such flowers. Um, one last little flower on the top of the head there. Um, on the example one, um, that one I did a teal. On this one, I did a purple. Both are just by themselves. Um, I washed off that small brush. I dried it off. I'm gonna do a teal, the little petals, and the whistle on the top. I'm gonna wash off my brush, drag my brush, and I'm gonna go into a purple for the lemon and the little doggy head. Let this dry. We're gonna put some more details on this in a little bit. Okay, so we are going to go in for a big round of black paint next. We're going to use um, our medium and our small brush. Use that small brush as you need. Um, I'm going to start with my medium brush just to get some of my bigger spaces. And then as things get to kind of narrow, um, I'm going to switch to my smaller brush as needed. So I'm going to start with my medium brush. I'm going to go in with just black paint. And let's fill in those eyeballs first, just so I have a little time to dry. Uh, don't worry about the details on the face yet. If this brush is a little patchy, you can get those edges with that small brush. And go back and just give them a little outline. And then I'm going to fill in this. I'm going to fill in this part, this part, this part, outside the head, so you know where I'm going over here. I'm going to fill in these eyes, this one, here, all around the part, the ears, around the head. So all those spots, let's go for it.
I'm starting to get to some of these trickier spots. I'm going to switch down to my small brush and fill in those smaller gaps. Like this face is kind of tricky. So I have uh, most of this outside just kind of filled in. Um, let's go to some of the smaller little spaces, um, like the nose and uh, the whiskers, eyebrows, um, and we have this little band on the flower. Let's do that one first so it has a little time to dry. I still have my little brush and right here at the edge between the center of the flower and the petals. I'm going to make a little black line. Grabbing my little camera so you can see. This one. So I made like a little black line right at the edge between the, the petals and the, the center. And then let's fill in our noses. There we are. Now on uh, that kitty for those eyebrows and those whiskers, um, to get a little bit thinner of a line, I always like to water down my paint a little bit. So I'm going to scoot over a little bit of black. I'm going to um, dip my brush into water, shake it on top of that little black paint. I'm gonna mix it in and just mix it so it flows a little easier and makes it so you don't have to press as hard to get a nice thin line. I'm gonna twist and drag my paintbrush here on the side, make it nice and extra pointy. And just take it very slowly. I like to plant my pinky on a dry spot somewhere or my hand. I'm just gonna trace it. And Um, while I have this watery black on this brush, I am also going to um, make these little lines coming out of the flowers. I'll bring it a little closer so you can see. And we're also going to uh, outline the flowers too in black, in this little brush. So, um, wherever you want one to go, and don't have to add this part if you don't want to, but these are going to be like little vines. If you wanted to do them in a different color you could, but I'm going to make little curlies. I'm going to make little wavies. Like what you'd like. You can do as many or as few as you like. Different sizes look nice. I'm sprinkle them all around. I'm going to do that to both of them. Also black. So the book in that little detail in black paint. Uh, again, small brush, watered down black paint. And then I'm also going to uh, trace all the edges. So like all those Sharpie lines, I'm gonna trace in black.
for that outline. Um, so uh, while I have that black paint on my brush, I'm also going to add just a tiny little detail of black in the petal. I'm going to do those just on the smaller ones. Um, if you like it, how it looks, you can do it to all of them, but I'm just going to do like a little, a little sweep, just like right in the center. If you don't want to add this part, you totally don't have to. It's kind of connecting to the little center line. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing on this guy. Okay, so after that, let's add on that little flame over the heart. If your black paint is still really, really shiny, we can let that dry a little bit um, before you do this part. Um, just let it dry a little bit, come back. And, but I'm going to do a orange and white mix together. So I'm going to find my orange and I'm going to mix some white into it. To make like a light orange color and I'm going to make this a little closer so you can see oh, this one's a little drier there we go um so I'm going to I still have my small brush I have this light orange that I mixed up I'm going to start in the middle I'm just gonna go straight up um, these are gonna go kind of to the side. I could probably add a little bit more white into it so I can see it. And then I'm just gonna make a few kind of in between. Just kind of fluff it up. If it's still like really, really see through, we can just let this dry a little bit and then put another layer on top. But I'm gonna do this on both. We're gonna let that dry. Okay, so let's do those little scallopies around the eyes next. Same little brush. I'm gonna go into red. Again, if you want to do a different color, don't I can. I'm gonna go into red and twirl in my brush, make it a little pointier. I'm gonna bring this a little closer. I'm gonna do it the same way on both. Um, so all the way around, I'm going to kind of make how like this petal is shaped. Like a little U shape. And I'm gonna go all the way around with that. Whenever it gets a little scratchy, keep grabbing more paint. I'm gonna do that on those. Okay, dot time. 
Um, I'm going to keep using my little brush. I'm going to wash it off, dry it off. I'm going to add on some black dots next on top of the white because it's nice and dry. Um, so a couple ways, you can either use the pointy part of your brush um, or you could also use the back handle of your brush. Um, the back handle is a little slower but it makes really nice um, circle dots and um, the pointy part of your brush, you can do the dots a little faster but they're a little, um, they're a little wonkier. But either way is good. Whichever way you prefer. I'm going to do the brushy part. But if you wanted to do the back handle, you just dip and dot. So on these little cheeks, I'm going to make a little semicircle of dots. So I'm just going to press a little semicircle on both sides. On the pretty side. On the nose, kind of above the nose, I'm going to make kind of a triangle shape starting from the top of the nose to kind of the points of the eyes. Or we can get it a little longer, a little shorter, my petals are a little bit bigger. That's okay. Like that. And then on the doggy side, I'm going to do some little dots right between the eyes. And then the little dots on the muzzle, like for where the whiskers would be. I did a row of four, row of three, and then I did two. So that'll be base four. I washed off my brush, dried off my brush, and I'm going to um, do a little bit of white. I'm going to do these little rays around the heart first, and then we'll do um, dots of white. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of white paint. Okay, wash off your brush, dry off your brush. And I'm going to start at the bottom here. It's going to go straight down. This one goes straight to the side, straight to the side. I go up. Side to side. So I'm just kind of spacing them out so that they're generally the same size. I don't really know how to count them. All the way around. You don't have to do that many. You can start with your front one, side one, side one, the top one, the top one. Uh, After that, um, I'm going to wash off my brush just in case I have a little bit of black paint on there, and I'm going to do the dots on the ears. So again, you can use the back part, um, or you can use the brushy part. Um, I'm not on the edge, I'm a little inside of the ear, so I'm on top of the black. And I'm just gonna follow the edge right to the top of the head. Same on the other side. Same if your black paint is still kind of wet, let it dry a little bit. Come on back whenever it's not shiny and wet, it is good to go. And then I'll do the dots around the heart. Um, while we're over here in our doggy, let's add on those whiskers. So I'm going to start right at the edge. It's going to kind of curl up, down, curl one side, kind of like one of these little lines. So up, down, curl, up, down, curl. And do the 
same in here. Visualize up, down, curl, up, down, curl, down, curl. And yeah, and I do write it a little black at the end. Just a little gray. If that bothers, just let it dry a little bit and then put some more white on top. I'm going to add some more dots on my cat side. So let's go to the ears. And around the heart. And um, I forgot the little dots on the little flowers up here, see if you look at them. Dots on that black line. Puppy has it too. There you go. And on the kitty side, we have some little things we need to add. So I'm going to leave a little bit of black space, kind of right about where it starts to curve. Like this little spot. That's about where I'm going to go. I'm going to put a line just about on the top. A little triangle underneath, a little bit. Little if you need to make it smaller, just let it dry and you can always put a little bit more black paint. Okay, little teeth. Just big teeth. Okay. Go next. Okay guys, so those are all the last little steps there. If you want to add anything else, any other little details, colors, more dots are always good. Um, make it your own there. We need a little artist signature though. I'm going to use my little brush into a little bit of, I might do white paint so you can see it. I always do my initial, but you can do your whole name. You can put that on the side. Whatever you'd like. Thank you so much for painting with me today. These are beautiful and they will uh, make an excellent addition to our little Dia de los Muertos wall. Thank you so much guys! Bye!